For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com or support me at patreon.com forward slash Dexter Bells. All right, guys, let's do this problem. A worker walks up the slope roof that is defined by the curve. They're giving you the function of this curve where x is in feet, of course. Determine how high h can it go without slipping, knowing that the coefficient of friction is 0.6. So I want you guys to look at the particle. What we're going to try and focus on is this point right here. Where is this point in the function? And then when we have the point in the function, we just plug it in and we're going to find the height. That being said, at that exact same point, the particle, we're going to treat this person like a particle, has a weight going straight down, a normal, I notice that that normal is acting at a certain slope, a friction acting parallel to that slope, and that's it. And we're going to find this angle theta. That angle theta is the same as that angle right here, theta. That's what we need to understand on this analysis. As you can see from all these complicated problems, it's all about drawing the right free body diagram and understanding what's going on. Okay, that being said, you know that the force of friction is equal to the coefficient of friction times the normal, that you know. So sum of the forces on the x is equal to zero at this point, which is equal to the weight times the sine of theta plus the friction which means that the weight times the sine of theta is equal to 0 0.6 times the normal. 0 0.6 is the coefficient of friction and n is the normal. So that's our first equation. Let's call it equation one. Then sum of the forces in the y is equal to zero. In the y we got the weight actually when, when you're wondering where all this is coming from, please be looking at this diagram. Don't look here, okay? So the weight times the cosine of theta plus the normal is equal to zero. You figured out by now that I'm using this orientation. Now, W cosine of theta is equal to N. I'm just cleaning up this equation so it'll be easier to solve. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide equation one by equation two Equation one, which goes on top is W sine of theta is equal to 0.6N divided by W cosine of theta over N. As you can see, the, the weights cancel out, the normals cancel out, and you got a beautiful tangent of theta is equal to 0.6. Or if you wanna get theta is equal to 30.1 degrees. So we found theta, which is an important component of our diagram. Now that we find theta, everything becomes much, much easier. Why? Because you got to focus on this point. At this point right here, you have a slope. And as you can see by our diagram, that slope is equal to the tangent of theta. That's that slope. Now what we need to do is we need to find this point right here on the x. That's the next thing that we're trying to find. So how do you find the point on an x when all you got is the slope? We got the slope. The slope is right here, given at 0.6. This is a slope. In, we know the function, we know the slope, and we're trying to find the point. So what you do is you, when you have these conditions, you do the derivative of the function. The derivative of the function is, is equal to the derivative of 5e to the point 0, 0,1x dx, which is equal to point 0, 0,5e to the point 0, 0,1x. You guys should be able to do this. This is calculus. Calculus 1, I believe. And when does the derivative of that function equal to? 0.6, which is the slope, which we know. That's why we did all this spiel with the x and the y's. And as you can see, you have this equation, which has only one variable, x, which is this x right here. So when you solve for x, 
you're going to get that x is equal to 248.5 feet, of course, because this function is given in feet. So now we have the x. We have basically this point right here. And we need to find the h, which is equal to the y on the function. So f of x is equal to 5e to the point 0, 0,1x. It was given at the beginning of the problem. So f of 248.5 is equal to e, sorry, 5e times 0 0.01 times 248.5, which is plugging the x value on the function, and we get the y, which is 60 feet. Beautiful number. I was surprised it was so round. And that equals to h, of course, because it's the y. And it's the same as the h. So final answer is 60 feet. To recap, we draw this free body diagram. Why did we draw this free body diagram? We weren't trying to find f or the normal. What we were trying to find is the slope. Once we had the slope, we were able to get the derivative of the function and find at what point does that slope occur. When we find where that, that uh, slope occurs, we found the x, then all we got to do is plug it into the equation to find the y. That's all we did. We didn't overcomplicate ourselves. So final answer. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.